Oh, it's like Christmas. Right, those of you who are regulars to my channel might be a bit surprised at this what a shitty knife. At this um, this tool, but the price was right, so that's what counts. So I'm delving into another battery platform for two reasons: they're cheap, and I kind of like the idea of the. Um, Wireless charger. Even though I know it's a bit gimmicky, of course, but it would be handy in the workshop just to have it sitting on the bench with the impact driver always sitting on it or a drill so that you just grab it and go. Whereas my Makita stuff, I tend to um, leave in the boxes, cases, oh, to take with me if I'm going to work somewhere else. Right. So this is the main unit I've just purchased, complete with plastic case that doesn't seem to quite fit it. Okay, strange. So, oh, with the battery on it. So what I've got here, wireless charger. This comes with a mounting bracket, that's very handy. If you wanted to mount it, you must be able to. Yeah, that's very cool. So you can hang it on the wall. Oh, I might be. I might do that. Oh, that'll be shit hot. So, yeah. Oh, it just slides in and out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So inductive wireless charger. So that will only work on the wireless batteries. Not all Bosch Blue batteries are. Uh, wireless. I've got to make sure it's got this inductive red bit on the bottom here. Um, now this is, I think this is the good one. To be honest I haven't researched all that much on this tool. But this is the Bosch GDR18V as in voltage EC. So I think this is their newest range. Um, weight wise and comfort wise feels pretty good, very similar to the Makita. It's quite heavy on the top maybe, but heavier than the Makita. We'll get the Makita out in a minute and check. We've got three LEDs on the front here. So that will be handy. Ooh, very bright. Oh, even comes with a, um, a Phillips bit, which is kind of pointless in this country. Who uses Philips anymore? I know in some parts of the world you love it, but yeah, we don't use them down here. Square drive. And now it's heading actually towards Torx. It's um, quite springy, the battery on here. I don't know if that's a sort of shock absorption thing or, or what. Yes, it is. It's got springs in here. It's quite good. Help keep the connections nice and tight. Batteries goes on nice. That's not as nice to push as the Makita one. It's a bit sort of. I mean, you don't push it very often, of course, but it's a bit harsh on the thumb. As is the back bit you're holding when you're doing it. Battery charge indicator on the back here. Only goes when you hold your finger on it. So one bar needs a charge. So I'll drain this until it doesn't work, and then I'll put it on the inductive charger here. It's only a 2 amp hour battery, but then we'll see how long it takes to charge. And then I'll put it through its paces against my trusty Makita. Seems to be some sort of hanging hook type thing you can get for the top here, according to the manual. Now, and these didn't come in boxes, as you can see, but they are brand new tools. I actually didn't want this one. I wanted the GDX version, which is an impact driver, but also an impact wrench. It's like two in one. It has the um, square half-inch drive, and in the center of that, you've got your quarter-inch impact driver. So that would have been very handy. But the price of this was just too good to pass up.
but maybe I'll get the GDX as well. If I can scrounge up enough money before Christmas. Something that annoys me on a low level grumpy bastard sort of whinging fuck type level on these tools is these battery indicators and see push it one bar and there's a possible three bars right fine fair enough well, on the charger what the hell five bars so it doesn't correlate to this in any way at all so this one bar you think oh that's stuffed stick it on the charger oh two bars third one flashing you know, it doesn't... What? What the fuck's wrong with you? Tell me there's a fucking problem with it. I only just bought it. I haven't even charged the fucking thing yet. What the heck? Well, hopefully that was just a placement issue. Where the battery sits. Right, anyway, I'll let this battery charge up. I'll see how long it takes. And then I will put this through its paces against my trusty Makita. So she's all charged up, but she's not quick. Um, which doesn't matter, because for this sort of thing, the tool with the battery is always going to be on the charger when you're not using it. Basically, in the workshop, use the tool, finish using it, poof, straight back on the charger. So, it's never going to... It's basically always going to be fully charged, sort of thing. So the length of time, not too big deal, but yeah, 45 minutes to charge a 2 amp hour battery, which, you know, on a job site would be, well, pretty friggin' useless. Um, the Makita charges, that one there, the rapid charger, does, is an, uh, does a 3 amp hour battery in 22 minutes. In 45 minutes, they can do a 6 amp hour battery. So it's basically three times slower, this one. But it's also only a three and draws only three amps. The charger itself, whereas this one does nine. So there you go, basically exactly three times. Um, but anyway, while that was charging, another box has arrived. So this is the rest of my um, Christmas present to myself. So let's have a look what's in there. It's more Bosch tools. Felt really badly packaged. It was bouncing around all over the place when I was carrying in. Jeez, look at that. Just throwing in. Throwing. No fucking care given there. Look at that. Not even tape or anything. Just. That's, that's rough. That's real rough. Anyway, another charger. Be a battery. Another 2 amp hour wireless battery. I think for new stuff they'd put a bit more gear into this. And a drill. And a circular saw. And of course the instructions. No. Just for the saw, not the drill, is it? Yeah, okay. Great. Oh well, unless that's it stuck in there. No. Oh, it's a it's a manual for a blade. So anyway, back to it. Alright, so let's take a closer look at this and have a look at the specs. So it is a three speed impact driver it's, the, it's a bit hard to see there change the speeds there one two three three little LED lights so on the first speed it does 1300 rpm on the second 2000 on the high speed 2800 one thing I've noticed about this trigger 
you've really got to pull it quite hard to get the top speed to come out of it because it's a variable speed trigger so even if you've got on full speed it will slowly go through all the different speeds so if you've got your finger like that which feels like it's fully down you give it an extra tweak because a little bit more you've really got to push really hard which you wouldn't want to do all day it would drive you nuts so that's that's not all that comfy Okay, it's forward and reverse, obviously. So as for so highest speed, 2800, but the impacts for that, the smashiness is 3200. So if you compare that with my trusty old Makita, from what I can see, this is top of the line Bosch Blue Professional Impact Driver. Whereas a Makita, well, this isn't top of the line anymore. She's been around a few years. Done a fair bit of work, this one. Um, and Makita pump out impact drivers, you know, it seems like they put one out every other week. Um, so the specs on this one, it goes up to 2600 revolutions. Um, so 200 less than the Bosch, but she's got 200 more wacky wax. So. 200 faster than this. this one. Makita seems just as fast or faster. Um, so yeah, this one's faster but less impact. Slower, more impact. Size-wise, well, Makita's slightly narrower this way. Length, they are pretty much identical. The Makita's maybe... A millimeter or two shorter height wise yeah the same Makita's maybe fractionally higher but that'll depend on which battery you've got on as well of course weight wise they feel very similar they're around the with a battery on around the sort of 1.6 kg I think it is and they might be without a battery now this comes in several iterations, so you've got the standard impact driver, the quarter inch drive, you've got the half inch square, and you've got the quarter inch and half inch square combined in the one tool. But don't let them fool you, it's the same tool, it's just got a different end on it. Exactly the same specs, the impact wrench one, the half inch square drive, isn't giving you any more anything. It's the same amount of um, revs, impacts, the whole friggin' lot. So don't be fooled, you can just buy this one and whack in a square drive bit when you, when you want to use it. There is the chance, of course, that it'll break slightly better to have the square drive, but or you can go for the, the double one. I wanted the double one, because I thought that would be handy. But price-wise, I got this half the price of the one that has a square drive and the, the quarter-inch drive. So it's just not worth it, because it's the same friggin' tool. So, um, I've just seen as well, the new batteries are available from Bosch that are 7 amp hour, not on the wireless system though. The wireless system, they only seem to have 2 and 4 amp hour batteries at the moment. Um, but there's a 7 amp hour battery for these tools. You don't have to have a wireless, this tool will take any 18, current 18 volt Bosch battery. I guess it's time to put it to the test. It comes with a hook, of course. I told you about the drive a bit at the back has a thing there for a little hook on the top which doesn't seem to come with it not with this one anyway um, there's not a lot else to it really I mean it's made of your traditional bloody nylon and reinforced glass fiber nylon it feels real sturdy um, equally as sturdy as the Makita maybe even more so anyway let's put them through their paces I'll do some tests with both of them at the same time, drill some, uh, screw in some screws and some batten screws, come up with a few things, maybe we'll even, no we won't, don't want to stuff anything, so I'll set up some tests. I also have these tools to test in the next video, so that'll be this hammer drill here, and a deep cutting circular saw with um, a base for putting on a track like a plunge saw so those are coming up 
I'm going to start off with these 35 millimeter 14 gauge stainless steel tech screws with a hex head, 3 8 head. So no pre-drilled holes on the top speed. Let's go. So no trouble at all as I'd expect. Just doing this as a just to Get the feel of the thing, so we can compare it with the Makita. So there it goes in no problem at all, as one would expect. With the Makita, we on the same speed. Yep. Start that again. Which is louder? They seem fairly similar. Can't tell any real difference between them. Maybe the Bosch is trying to take those out a bit quicker. Right, that was a simple test, but next up I'm going to do batten screws. So what I'm going to do here is drive in these 175 millimeters or 7 inch-ish, roughly 7 inch-ish, um, batten screws, galvanized. They have a hex drive on the top there. So I'm going to tap them into the piece of timber here, which is 200, 200? Yeah, 200 by 50, 8x2. Just going to tap them in just to get them started. And we'll have the Makita on the left, or in my left hand, and the Bosch on the right, just to make it slightly more fair because I'm used to using the Makita and my left of course. Now I just got to try and get this with the camera. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, so the Makita's won by about an inch. The Makita had a bit of a late start, but still finished first. But I've noticed there is a knot in the Bosch side, so I'll redo this again a bit further over where there's no knot. Awkward getting my arm out of shot. Okay, let's try this again. So the Bosch is driving the screw right next to where the Makita one just went. And the Makita's now a bit further along. Three, two, one. Makita still wins by an inch. So I guess what you could take from that is that slower speed but more impacts beats faster speed less impacts. Impact over speed. But I mean it still didn't have any problem doing it. Just a little bit slower. Now what about taking them out? So let's see how good the Bosch is here. No problem. And the Makita. Also no problem. Maybe slightly easier with the Makita. Now I'm not going to do an endurance test on them because they've got different batteries. I've got a 3 amp hour, which was 80% charge when I started, and this is a 2 amp hour. Uh, the wireless batteries only come in a 2 and 4 amp hour, 
but the um, regular batteries go right up to 7 amp hour now. So as far as the lights go, this is a Bosch with the screw on the end, the 175mm screw. You can see, you can see three, I hope it comes out in the video, maybe not. There's three um, shadows of the screw coming in and bang, hits. Light's not hugely bright. stays on for about 10 seconds whereas the Makita one only has the one shadow coming from the top there because the lights just a single light underneath but maybe a bit brighter little LED yeah yeah it's possibly better LED and they both stay on for 10 seconds now I could do a lot more tests with this, dropping it and all sorts of things and comparing it to the Makita and how long they will last when they're being abused but I don't want to destroy my tools so I won't be doing that um, only time will tell which one, you know, whether this is as good as a Makita um, there are, if you're not aware, two sort of ranges of Bosch tools you've got the blue ones and the green ones so the green ones are probably a bit more common, been around a long time um, and they're basically your DIY sort of tools, home, you know, around the house sort of stuff, uh, keeping in the garage, that sort of thing. Um, whereas the blue ones are professional for tradies, you know, industry, that sort of thing. Um, this tool I'm going to keep in my garage on the wireless charger at all times. Hopefully that's the theory. Um, probably hanging from the ceiling somewhere or on the wall somewhere. I'm not sure yet, depends on where, where I can fit them, where they're going to be handy. So, if I didn't mention, this is brushless, of course, as is this. Um, most tools are now. You can get this in a non-brushed version. It's just instead of EC there, it will have LI. But overall, I'm happy with it thus far. Um, but only time will tell if it stands up to the, the abuse. It won't get too much abuse in the garage here. Unlike the Makita one, which, you know, goes out and gets covered in mud and all sorts of things. This one will be in a relatively clean environment compared to the Makita one. Um, and won't get as much work and not the really hard work that the Makita has to do with bolts and things out on the job. So, thanks for watching. This is the Bosch GDR 18 VEC. Got some more Bosch stuff coming up, so like, subscribe, tell me what other tools you want to see. Um, I've got a drill and a circular saw coming up, videos of the same line of Bosch products. And till then, I will see you on the next one. Look at him go. and cut